I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Tuesday morning, the 21st of November, 2023. And this is your friend, Angus Buckin, with a thought for the day. We go to the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, and I'm reading verses 5 and 6. My son, do not despise the chastening of the Lord, nor be discouraged when you are rebuked by him. For whom the Lord loves, he chastens and scourges every son whom he receives. The word chasten means to discipline someone. You know, for me, it is very embarrassing to go to a party or to a meeting or to a public gathering and to see a very badly behaved little child throwing its toys, literally. I don't feel sorry for the red-faced parent that's trying to control that child, I feel terribly sorry for the undisciplined child who has to face life and walk a very hard road. Mom, dad, if you love your child, you must discipline them for their sake, not for your sake. Just like Jesus disciplines you and I in order to make us better citizens and stronger people. If Jesus disciplines us because he loves us, we need to do the same. My son has got a a gift in sorting out problem horses. People bring their horses to him and he sorts out that problem. If the horse has got a bad habit of kicking out at people or it's got a very hard mouth and it will not listen, he has an ability to discipline that horse and make it rideable. You know, the amazing thing is often the horses that have got the most natural talent need the most disciplining, and then they turn out to amazing riding horses. The word discipline means the practice of training people to obey rules or a code of behavior. I uh, know a story, and it's such a sad story, I'm telling you, of a little boy. He was very big for his age. He was very strong, and he got his own way at home. His mom and dad didn't discipline him, but eventually the big day came. He had to go to school, and mom and dad dropped him off at school, and of course, in the class, he picked on the weakest little boy there and started to push him around. But you see, that boy didn't realize that that small boy had two big brothers, in the grade ahead. And of course, at small break and big break, the big boys would tackle this youngster and start to really make life very unpleasant for him. So much so that that uh, bully, he didn't want to go to school anymore. In fact, he would start to wet his pants and became a major problem to his mother and father. That is because mom and dad never disciplined him when he was small. Please discipline your loved ones if you want them to have an easy walk in life. Jesus bless you and goodbye.